can teach you how to get paid, how to get by, and how to get fly. I can teach you how to get cake. It's not the whole thing. Needs a little slice. Honestly, I'm an immaculate anomaly. I'm an organic organism. Ain't no ordinary organs in them. I can't afford any synonymy. That's why my flow is like a cinnamon tsunami with the lemongrass. Ooh, ooh. Let me know what you want to do. If you want to build, I'm Bobby. If not, then kick it in a lobby. I got a lot to do. Ooh, I'ma watch what you gon' do. If you gon' build, I'm Bobby. If not, then chuck a deuce. You throwin' off the ride, ride, ride. Man, I don't die time. It's all about the ride, ride, ride. All that I got time. I got the goose back with me. Don't come through the bad energy. you how to make a lot of cheese i got the dialect to vary in my diary i'm from a lactose intolerance community i want to circulate the units in the unity the continuity of opportunity for stacking bands opportunity to stack the figures with your family i can show you how to get your figures in advance i don't see nobody else but us giving a damn oh First open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New Orleans Saints. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And a signal there for the fair catch, so this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Swift to start the drive. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Plays like that will really help this offense settle in here on the road. And when you go on the road, you also have to deal with the fans as well. And when you have those types of runs, that'll settle them back into their seats. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Hurts on the option right. First down and they go with Swift again. Down the sideline he goes. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Eagles need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two... End zone. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Powering his way forward. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. slow start here a couple nice chunk plays back to back i love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways right threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage came right back and ran the ball looks like they got the defense set back on their heels let's see if they can keep this moving throwing on first down Water. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. The Saints are the perfect 4-0 to start the campaign. They've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Ball on the 39, here's second and five. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first and ten, Woodard. He finds his man complete. It's Myers. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Ready? From the gun on third down. Water. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now. Saints are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. But all the time one drive, he burned them. And I think it's the last time they call his number in this one. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Go, go, go. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago. There's another one right there. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first and ten, it's Swift. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Well, this defense for the Saints, they played extremely well last week in that win over Green Bay. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Here's Hurts to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time. They put way really too much heat on it. Don't stand for it. Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it instead of fire an absolute bullet. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Now back to throw. That is caught. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven. They're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Back to the running game with Swift. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. A big play there for Philly. 43 yards. Now they'll change things up. Here's Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. He's got right on the short throw. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. him up five first and 15. Operating from the gun. Water. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Some good plays in the passing game right now for New Orleans. They have another first down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. They'll go again here with Akers. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. Ready? Off play action. Water. 
And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 22-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Here we go. Red cycle. White, white. Steel, black. Cut. On first down, Woodard. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Yeah, pretty good pursuit there defensively. He's brought down, no gain on the play. Second down coming up. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. First and ten, it's Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Hurts going to move him around. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Motion left, Smith. Open man, it's Goddard, the tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Swift going to try up the middle. There he goes, left side. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 132 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Right. 
So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. Breaks through the contact. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. So naturally, they will decline it. They got the first down anyway on the play. Who needs a penalty when you picked up the first down through hard work and effort anyway? First down. Swift. He is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll run with Swift. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. His pass became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. They will run it with Swift here. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Eagles go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Elliott good on the extra point. And it's now 21-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And not a very good return at all as he won't even get this back to the 15. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, those have been a problem for him all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. But first down, Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. But well, what a quick turnaround there. They get the football. Next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs, and if you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, ju we'll just keep this one PG. CC violation. No doubt. Elliott good with a PAT and a lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Yeah. 
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Throwing on first down. Woodard. And for the third time here, this half it's intercepted. Keely Ringo picks it off. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So... I expect him to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second and ten. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll be taken down at the 34. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts. Keeping it himself from seven yards out. And the Eagles are able to widen their lead here in this first half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Elliott good on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. 
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Woodard. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nothing open downfield. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Second and ten. Black Ultra. Hut, hut. Looking to throw. Runner. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans. Number two. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Off the play fake. Runner. And a throw there going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Taking it about the 16. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Water. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw again. Water. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line.
And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's got Rome. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they send each other. You never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, Ready. it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Ready? On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Going right back to Akers. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Back to throw. Woodard. And my goodness, another interception. Down the right sideline. I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team is struggling to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now Hurts changing up the play. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Hurts. 
Hurts. That's taken in by Watson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Hurts going to keep it running right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Second and goal. Back to throw here. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. A loss of nine yards. It's third down and goal. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. An audible here to get a new look. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown from 19 yards away. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. You know what it is. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Second down and eight. Ready. Ready. Looking to throw. Woodard. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. 
Off play action. Woodard. Got a man. It's Mims. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. Ready? Back to throw again. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. They'll look to throw again. There's Chris Olave. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 43. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete so second down still 10 yards to go ball on the 43 they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw and this throw incomplete and the defender all over at that time and it's going to lead to third down as this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw. Woodard. He finds his man. Complete. That's Myers. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. On fourth down, Woodard. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Saints first down. And they get it easily. A gain of five on fourth and one. They only needed that one yard going for it on fourth. i got to be honest. I thought they were going to stay on the ground. They surprised me. Did they surprise you? I'm with you on that one. I thought they'd find a way to create some type of a power run and try and pick up the first down. But they decided to keep the ball in the hands of the guy who could throw it, and it paid off. Yeah, that decision paid off indeed. On first and ten, Water over the middle complete. That's Myers. So just three yards on the completion there. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. 
They'll go with Akers here up the middle. They juked him. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Looking to throw. Water. And this will be incomplete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked too. Instead, it's fourth down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Hurts looking to change the play. What is the deal? Here's a toss play right to Swift. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Throwing his hurts. A well, flag comes in. It's incomplete. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that one go. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage. They also lose the down. So now it's third and long. Here's hurts to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 45-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Yeah, looks like they'll move things around here. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. We're up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And it is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start. 
And pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because... Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Swift again. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles are closing in on a 4-1 start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and 10. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. And now they're in the hurry up. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Woodard. And now here's another interception. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense can very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout. But you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. But he wasn't really big on that. He was big on going ahead and scoring. He's kind of reincarnated right here. We're watching it in front of us. They'll roll him out right. Airing it out deep for Smith. And they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And this offense on third down today, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and ten. They'll drop to throw. 
Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Isaiah Foskey brings him down. He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but he's not getting much of a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. The Eagles send out their punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. the play fake Woodard he's got a man that's caught left sideline and they work this well up field across the 45 a gain there of 21 yards offense for them has been at a premium you wonder where plays like that have been all game long they're thinking the exact same thing themselves but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week trying to get some momentum going They'll run on first down with Akers. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 75 yards rushing for Akers, and this is a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Now a give. Akers running left. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. On first down, Woodard under a heavy rush and down. Smith picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Looking to throw on second down. Woodard will hit as he throws there incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. Woodard. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by Sly is up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Joey. 
Joey Sly set to kick off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Charles, a lot of happy faces 